children's uh, social you know, cognitive foundations are very critical for their school education success. That is uh, more like their potential nature part. And it could be a DNA, but I say it's more like a cognitive foundation, cognitive functions, uh, how they have uh, information, you know, processing abilities. So children's uh, understanding, compre especially comprehension part, uh, we have a four, I put the four separate categories. It's more like a scale up categories based on the children's uh, cognitive developmental theory. So in the beginning, first stage is a sensory pathway stage. So it's like in a very young children, newborns to maybe toddlers or just you know, three years old. These are sensory learning stage. And then next one is like a factual and physical information learning stage. I call that stage is a perceptual pathways. So all those you know, physically you could see, touch, hear, those information, those knowledge they receive and they process. And then these knowledge, the ending of this knowledge goes to their parent categories. And then third one is a conceptual process. It's more like an abstract knowledge learning. So it's an abstract knowledge, it's invisible. Still it could come through, you know, sensory part. It's like a you know, linguistically, so it's like a spoken language and they just uh, talk about those information. And they just, uh, this uh, part is uh, pretty much from the perceptual pathway and conceptual pathway, this uh, physical knowledge learning and abstract knowledge learning, that's the part the children's pretty much, you know, kind of, you know, uh, dispersed uh, and from the, you know, children were okay in sensory level and then move on to the perceptual level. So in elementary school and primary grade, uh, they learn to read uh, in early literacy and then numeracy, they could be okay. And then their comprehension is like a more literal comprehension because it's all about, the, you know, more tangible, physical, visual, visible, those information and knowledge comprehension. However, around the you know, intermediate grade levels, you know, to move on to the abstract uh, knowledge learning. By that time, children need uh, solid uh, reading skills. So we say just read to learn, read to learn. That is a literacy, right? So they could read and then they could speak, they could write and that's a reader to learn and then comprehension wise it's more like an influential comprehension based on it requires their expect and guess predict and hypothesis insights you know those are the you know part requires for their influential you know comprehensions and then last stage is a higher order thinking is a higher order cognition is a psychology you know term so so these are more more, you know, I see this one instead of knowledge learning, it is more like a utilization of we use our knowledge and it's a thinking process. So this higher order thinking, you know, really tells about the people's thinking power and then, you know, wisdom and how they live the world uh, life. Uh, so executive function and belongs to this higher order thinking. So executive function, we know that, you know, how to we control ourselves in you know, the working memories and how much we pay attention about our, to our work, you know, or organize and conceptualize, you know, the, you know, lives and events and just uh, things. So, and then creative evaluation, and decision making, problem solving, and it is more like a cognitive power of a cognitive control and cognitive flexibility. We say cognitive control and cognitive flexibility belong to, you know, executive functioning. However, you know, like a cognitive, you know, cognitive coherence, those are central coherence. That is the another, you know, their cognitive power. So these are the developmental stages like a sensory level 
learning and then perceptual level learning and then conceptual level learning and the higher order thinking stage. I see this one as a human cognitive power, cognitive foundation. And the each stage we have a component of cognitive functions like a sensory pathway, it's a sensitivity and you know, attention activation is very important to, to recognize a conscious about, you know, uh, sensory inputs, uh, and then we receive those sensory inputs and then transmit those sensory inputs uh, to, you know, our brain. So each component has those uh, more like, you know, sub cognitive functions. However, human child brain development is like pretty much up to age five. Children pretty much master this sensory learning, level learning, and then beginning of you know, perceptual pathways. So children's uh, attention and then visual attention and visual perception are very important in this stage and it will decide children's academic learning can be succeed or not. So these are the, you know, perceptual level and then, you know, media level and then conceptual level is more like, you know, abstract concept learning. So whole cognitive pathways, cognitive functions and cognitive, I call all these together is cognitive foundations. So cognitive foundations have cognitive functions, cognitive pathways, and then cognitive domains, we call it the developmental milestones. So it's like a cognitive language, social, emotional, moral functions. So these are cognitive domains. So pretty much how children will develop of cognitive functions and cognitive pathways. So it decides their, you know, real cognitive intellectual levels for the learning and then language skill, language learning and social, emotional, you know, moral functions. So cognitive domains are pretty much like more like outcomes. That's why, you know, it's more like a visible uh, milestones and pediatricians can say, try to get, you know, the baby makes a uh, um, typical development or not, okay? So this is about the, you know, cognitive foundation. It's my perspectives and my interpretations. It's not, you know, cognitive psychology is a real, you know, their real terms. It's uh, educators' uh, perspectives. I interpret uh, how this cognitive development uh, related to school education and children's education, especially in you know, a special education.